So I'm Chris Bjork. I teach in the Education Department and Asian Studies Program at Vassar. My name is Justin Patch. I teach in the Music Department in the Asian Studies Department at Vassar. And we're just going to talk a little bit about curricular innovation in Asian Studies at Vassar. Both the Music Department and the Asian Studies Program have revamped our introductory classes recently, and we're happy to talk about them because we think they're going really well. What's going on in music? So in music, we had the opportunity to begin uh, globalizing music history curriculum. We started with the early music uh, portion of the music history sequence, which is a three semester sequence. And what we did is we cut that class in half. So it's shared with uh, one of my colleagues and myself. The first half of the class has to do with four of the art music traditions of Central and East Asia, uh, music in the Abbasid courts in, in the Levant, uh, Drupad in the Mughal kingdoms in North India, the, the Qin in ancient China, and Gagaku in Japan. And so what I did is I sort of introduced, took seven weeks to introduce students to the, to the concept of the Silk Road and then these four small traditions that I really narrowed down. I only focused on one instrument and one performance from each one of those. So with the Abbasid courts, it was the Oud as the instrument, and Taksim is the practice. With the Mughal kingdoms, it was the voice, and it was uh, Drupad. With the Chin, it was the single instrument and the philosophy behind it. And then Gagaku is an orchestra. So that and so that's how we sculpted that. Um, and the idea was that you know the Silk Road is really responsible for pulling Europe out of the Dark Ages. So we started first, and then my colleague who. Uh, took the second half of the class, who did the Western portion, sort of began with the exchange between Florence and the Silk Road, and then sort of went from there to talk about the development of early music with chant and all that sort of stuff, and ended with Monteverdi. So that's how we're sort of bringing Asian music and actually integrating it um, in, with, in dialogue with Western music uh, in the music history curriculum. And in the Asian Studies program previously, because our we don't it's a small program. Most of our faculty are housed in other departments. Uh, our introductory class was a list of courses offered in other departments that students could take. It could be a history class, a sociology class, a religion class. But we recently created a new class called Asia in the World, and it's a team talk class. And the idea is that it will pull students in and, and get them excited about Asian studies and give them a real in-depth investigation of of a uh, central question from three disciplinary perspectives. So the question that anchors this class now is, what are the connections between history, capitalism, politics, and culture, and how are they contributing to social transformation in Asia? And every semester, three members of our department teach it. We each teach for three weeks, our area of specialty as it connects to that question. And then for the last month of the semester, Students work one-on-one -on -one with us um, investigating questions that interest them, and they conduct independent research projects for that month. And then at the end of the semester, we have a research symposium where they present their findings, and we have a big party. 